Hey, y'all. Yeah. All right. So I want to give y'all a quick little rundown on decomposition in a Florida swamp. Yay. So back in the day, I was the youngest female taxidermist to be licensed in my state. So a taxidermist is someone who takes the remains of an animal and makes something from it. So it could be boots, a jacket, your belt, or they may mount something such as a fish or deer head, or they may re-articulate a skeleton for you. So these are common things that are done in taxidermy. And in any of these situations, you have to determine first the level of decomposition because it, it depends on what you can make by what's left of the animal, right? So because I don't want to be... Um, triggering anything too too much on this platform we are not going to talk about human decomp we're going to talk about pigs and as a taxidermist i am qualified so quickly if a pig were to be say shot in the head and it drops into the waters that would be in florida then the first thing that would happen is within only a few hours depending on warmth of the day and the water, the hair would start to slip. That means it gets loose in each follicle and it becomes very easy to just brush it out. It'll just fall out at a touch. Not long after that, there's skin slippage. So skin slippage is when the layers of the dermis begin to separate from the body. A lot of times underwater, you know, they... Mm, Skin is gross. It stretches when it, you know, gets really, really soaked sometimes. So it'll rip open and it'll look like it's just flaking off. But it's big flakes, big sheets of skin that come away from from the body of the pig. Now, during this, uh, bacteria has already found the body and has begun to enter it. And they begin immediately to work on liquefying the organs. The bacteria like the organs. It's rich in proteins and and uh, iron and all types of things that bacteria need they work quickly so while they're busy on the inside you have small fish and other creatures such as crayfish on the outside now the young fish are ravenous and it doesn't matter what species um, even something like um, there's a cousin of the piranha called the pacu they have been found in florida waters are not native there they have been released there they're mainly a fruit and nut eater but if all the vegetation is eaten, they do begin to eat flesh. Their teeth are dull, not sharp like the piranhas, but so human-like that if in their native land, if you're bitten by one, people think you've been bitten by a, a drowned spirit, a person. So there are all kinds of fish that can very, very quickly strip a dead pig in the water. Now you're talking also, you've got crocodiles and alligators. Yes, I said crocodiles. They're not just in Australia and Africa. There are American crocodiles. And there are very few places in the world, Florida being one, where crocodiles and alligators can be found in the same area. So we have the American crocodile and the American alligator. Both prefer their meat rotten. This is because they can't chew. They chomp, rip, tear, and swallow. So you'll see them jerk their head back, try to sling the meat to the back of their throat. They can't pick and choose. It's not like they can say, oh, well, I want this hand, but not the ring on it. They can't spit that out. Everything has to go down, come out the other end. So even if they catch fresh prey, they don't want it. They want to stick it under a log or under you know, a rock until it rots. Then they go back because it's so hard to rip those pieces off. So... Could a pig that dropped into the water be skeletonized entirely in just a few weeks' time? In Florida, you bet your ass. You bet your ass there could be just a few bone fragments. It's very, very within the realm of possibility and probability. I'm kind of surprised they found what they did. Actually, I'm very surprised they found what they did, but not because of the animals. But... um you know, draw your own conclusions, but for those who have questions about is it possible to become skeletonized in a few weeks, yes, absolutely. Thank you all.